As engines have developed, increasing the demands on ceiling applications, the traditional flat fiber gasket have become no longer capable of meeting the technical requirements of engine manufacturers and elastomer gasket are considered more expensive solutions. For ancillary gaskets, the challenge that faced us was to produce a molded gasket which met the cost targets. The cost of a molded part is mainly determined by the time of vulcanization and the quantity of elastomer used. Therefore, we had to find an elastomer having good technical characteristic and having a curing time of a few seconds with an easy and economical molding process. So, the lamb gasket was born, made of a metallic core of zinc-plated steel, coated in selected areas on both sides with silicone, with molded in sealing beads. These beads have differing heights and widths dependent on the clamping loads and application requirements. The manufacturing process is as follows. 1. Primer coating on the steel coil. 2. Silicone rubber coating on both sides. 3. Hot compression molding. Four, then the part will have to be blanked. From the beginning, it was determined that the layout of manufacturing equipment will embrace the principles of constraint management with the use of U-shaped cells. The automation of coating process started simply by using a Cartesian robot. In our search for better performance for this process, which was the bottleneck operation, we wanted to simultaneously coat both sides of the metallic core using a process such as screen printing. This was achieved using a metallic stencil. Some applications require a molding on the edge either for sealing of high pressure fluids or for T junctions. In these cases, the process is different. The metallic core is pre-planked before the silicone coating and molding operations. This capability opens the market to LEM to offer a replacement for a wide range of traditional edge molded elastomer gaskets. In parallel with the U shape cell concept, an automated inline manufacturing process provides the faster production rates required for the automotive market.
The steel carrier can be replaced by other materials, such as aluminum or plastic, to match the demands on the specific applications.